I'm determined to take down your battleship with my cruiser. Oh shit! I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh rebel! Seriously. Oh, I, my whole I wasn't even picking a fight with you, my friend. <laughs> I know. You started that one. <laughs> and yeah, I got that one on tape this time. <laughs> well played. I was just testing my weapons out, and then I thought, oh, maybe, maybe his shields are going down quickly, so maybe I can take him down. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> I'm just testing my weapons out. And then he started testing his as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Uh, it shows your battleship's still slightly more powerful than my cruiser. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Freelancer. <laughs> I'm your host, Squee913, with a, a quite dead rebel. <laughs> not dead at all. I'm alive. Oh, that was a very delayed intro. That was <laughs> You're indeed correct. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, for everyone who knows, it doesn't know, we've been talking about history a lot because we've been flying around doing a bunch of nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, w uh, one person just asked, how involved were the Byzantines and the Crusades? Um... They weren't as involved as you might think. They didn't really send a whole lot of armies or anything to help. But it is kind of funny that the first crusade ever was called because the Byzantines asked the Pope for help. <laughs> um, in fact, you couldn't say the Byzantines capitalized on it a whole lot, considering that the fourth crusade saw the Byzantine Empire get sacked. <laughs> so I wouldn't say it helped them a whole lot. Uh, the fourth crusade called upon Jerusalem... Uh, ended up sacking Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire. How that happens? Well, <laughs> it's a convoluted story. I could get into it, but uh, basically, the long and short of it was that the Crusaders ended up owing Venice a whole lot of money, <laughs> and Venice said, well, if you attack Constantinople, uh, we'll consider our debt done. <laughs> and so they did. And the sad part about that is Constantinople is a... Christian town. <laughs> so Christian holy warriors <laughs> sacked a Christian town. Now, albeit they weren't Catholic, but they were still Christian. And the Pope was so mad, he excommunicated them. Which is also funny, because Christian holy warriors got excommunicated. <laughs> <laughs> the God you're fighting for says he no longer wants you. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the uh, leaders of the army had the good grace not to tell the army that they had been excommunicated. <laughs> good times. Oh, it gets even worse than that. They're, they're talking about good pope. It gets even worse than that. The pope warned them the first time they attacked a Christian city. Because <laughs> they attacked more than one. Oh, gosh. The fourth crusade. That was fun. The only, the only crusade I think was more fun than that one was the sixth crusade. And that's all because of the great Stupor Mundi. Alright, are we actually headed somewhere now? Or are you going to try and kill me again? Try and kill you? Yes. Yeah. That, that, that is the to, word uh, you use when someone attempts something and fails at it. Okay, would you uh, rather I say epically fail at killing me? Yes, I would, because at least it's epic. <laughs> Too bad I can't shoot you in the docking bay. I'm back in Omicron Gamma. It's not stupid, Mundi. The stupor Mundi. Which means... <laughs> I don't forget the translation, but it means pretty awesome is actually what it means. I don't know what the exact translation is, but... The stupor Mundi was uh, Frederick the Second, Frederick the Second Of the Holy Roman Empire. God, I hope I got the, the second... Uh, the new, no, number right. I'll sound like an idiot if it's like the fourth or something. <laughs> I think it's Frederick II. Um, he was a brilliant, brilliant man. He spoke like, supposedly, he spoke like six different languages and uh, uh, was very knowledgeable and very learned and extremely arrogant. He, he, the, the Pope kept telling him, hey, go on crusade. And he kept saying, okay, I'm going to go on crusade later. <laughs> And the Pope said, go on crusade. He's like, okay, I'm going to, oh, I'm sick. <laughs> and then eventually the Pope's like, screw it, fine, whatever, you're excommunicated. And then he's like, okay, I'm going on crusade. <laughs> the Pope's like, no, you're not, you're excommunicated. He's like, no, no, it doesn't matter, I'm going on crusade. And the Pope's like, what? No, you're, you're, you're excommunicated. You, you, God hates you. You can't fight for him. He's like, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so, and so, yeah, so he goes on a crusade after being excommunicated by the Pope, uh, goes to Jerusalem, doesn't capture Jerusalem, but actually makes a, uh, a, a treaty with Jerusalem so that Jerusalem goes back to the Christians. And, um, gets uh, a priest to crown him. Oh, there goes Rebel. He'll be back in a second. Um... Yes, there were crusades against excommunicated Catholics. Well, not excommunicated Catholics so much. Um, the, uh... Oh, man, if someone knows or can look it up, I forget their name. It starts with a C. It's a sect of Christians that started to get a little too weird for the Catholics in southern France. So the Pope called a crusade against them and wiped them all out. It's kind of sad, really. Uh, there were crusades called against the Muslims in Spain. There were crusades called against the, uh... Uh, the Eastern European heathen states. There were tons of crusades called. Not just the ones against the Holy City. So, yeah. While we wait for Rebel to get back. Hang on. Oh, it didn't. Yes, it did. The call most definitely dropped. How do you not hear the... No, it didn't. It didn't do that for me. You just went quiet for a minute. <laughs> the Cathar. I think that's it. Yeah, the Cathar. That was the name of the uh, uh, Christian sect that had been excommunicated and called a uh, a crusade on, on him, upon him. Oh, you guys want to hear a funny part of history? One of my favorite parts is uh, the uh, the the time when we had three popes. <laughs> okay, that that's quite a good one. That sounds good. All right. Uh, what happened was the Pope and the kings always vied for power because uh, um, hang on, uh, because uh, the Pope always said that I was in charge of the spiritual souls, so I really have the power, and the king said, no, I have the secular power, so I'm the one that's really in power, and they always fought back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and um. You had strong popes and you had weak popes, and at some point, I don't remember what pope it was, but uh, there was a pope that was elected, and uh, the French king basically had this pope in his pocket. And uh, he had the pope literally move from the Vatican to somewhere in France. And so everyone knew that this pope was obviously under the French control, and the cardinals didn't like the fact that the pope was under French control. So they said, ah, oh, that Pope's not the real Pope. We're going to make our own Pope back here in the Vatican City. <laughs> so they pretty much tried to say that Pope wasn't real. Actually, they called him the Antichrist. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, they, they can't even just say, no, he was a mistake and he's not the right Pope. No, he they went all the way. He, he's the freaking Antichrist. <laughs> so they elect a new Pope. And, of course, the old Pope goes, no, that Pope's the Antichrist. <laughs> ah. And, um... And so, and of course, everyone else is really confused because they're like, who do we listen to? I don't understand. <laughs> There's two popes, and both of them say the other one's the Antichrist. I don't know what to do. So, so the council gets together again, and they decide, okay, well, obviously, naming a new pope didn't work, so how do we solve this? <laughs> and their brilliant plan was to denounce to both the new popes and name a third one. Because it worked so well the first time. <laughs> so they, they said, uh, neither of you are popes, and this is the real popes. And the two previous popes said, no, <laughs> that's also the Antichrist. <laughs> that must have been the best part of the history of the Catholic Church. Is it? It must have been fantastic. It's yeah. so awesome. You have three separate popes all claiming the other ones are the Antichrist. Which, how you have two antichrists, I'm not really sure, but they, they definitely said it. <laughs> and poor people of Europe are like, huh? <laughs> like, imagine the, 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 just the regular common peasant who's a Catholic. He's going to be so confused. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you at the minute before we get any other questions? I am actually staring at you. You're the docky bay. And I'm just staring no, at you. No, I'm not. Where are you? I am not. Okay. Most definitely not in the docking bay. Okay, so where are you? I've been staring at you this whole time thinking you were just right there. 
I'm in Omega 41, buddy. I am two jumps away from you at least, maybe even three. You felt didn't feel the need to tell me this? I thought you were following me. Uh, it's it's not like I have a small ship. <laughs> it's not like you can't notice that there's not a huge ass ship behind you. <laughs> Watch me. Uh, oh, Reb. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh. I'm gonna stop the recording until I catch up to him. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, that's the problem with the, uh, not recording. <laughs> we keep forgetting to press record. I just pwned a battleship in Rhineland. Literally pwned it. Hardcore. God, that's awesome. There should be another one Oh, wait, that's you, that's you. Tops. Darn it. I'm sorry. Okay, no, I, missed no, no, I missed you. I missed you, I missed you, I missed you. I missed you. That was lucky. I got a different battleship because this uh, cruiser because this one's got better armor. <laughs> Somebody touched Sasha. Who touched my gun? <laughs> <laughs> I've never played Team Fortress, but I absolutely love those commercials or whatnot. There's not. There should be another battleship appearing somewhere above that station pretty soon. I hope so. And who's attacking? Taking down my shields. Someone's trying to take down my shields, but they're not doing a very good job of it. Hey, you know what? Someone's learning. In a situation like this, I need to switch to turrets. That's one thing I do like about battleships, is that you can hit anyone from any angle. Mm. I mean, it, you know, it, it, won't, it won't really help against bigger ships, but for the small, pesky little flies... Yeah. It's very helpful. Which is actually convenient, aren't they? Right. Although, I think we're not going to be welcome in Rhineland anymore after this, just what? so you know. Nonsense. <laughs> you mean the fact that destroyed. everyone and their brother is attacking us? Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. Alright, gotta turn around. <coughs> uh, we need to okay, land to somewhere, don't we? <laughs> eh? we need oh, to battleship, one. battleship. Oh, but that may well, be the where? battleship that, uh... I can't destroy. Where? Oh, oh no, 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 it's possible. just to a battleship. Never mind. Oh, holy crap, there's one. Oh, hello. Holy fuck, I just messed with my mortars. My mortars just went sailing over. Them. Those mortars were cool. They're awesome, aren't they? Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay. They yeah, don't fire cool. very well, though. They don't fire very fast. Well, no, it's not. No. They're very... Oh, this is I such know. a great view. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Goodbye, battleship. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, I'm going to die. What? I've got nothing. Bollocks! Come on. Bollocks, crap, damn. Oh. Looks like someone's having problems. Everyone and their mother's destroying me. My like grandmother's trying. destroyed me. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, well, you pissed off the grandma. That's 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 going too far, Reb. It's going too far. Right, that's it. Oh, piss. Where are you? I am in the middle of destroying a cruiser. Trying to get to a cruiser no. to destroy it. Get the battleship. There is no battleship. The battleship's if gone, there is, man. One right. The battleship. No, there's one right here. Where? I promise, there's one right Where? here, and it's beating the crap out of me again. Where are you? Uh, just outside Planet Hamburg, and I'm dead again. Dead again. Um, I destroyed the only battleship on my screen. God, these guys uh, are circling me. Ah, I need to get I'm some distance. Just... Okay, I give up. I, 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 fine. I have to leave the server up. They might actually kill me. Maybe. Okay. I've just got nanobots and shield batteries, and I am on my way out. Because I'm so useful in these situations. Where are you? I'm almost dead, actually. What? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, you are. Cool. No way. <laughs> oh no, I, I'll probably make it. Yep, I'm Where, getting my cruise engines. Ha ha ha! Fighting. 
I made it. Where, where are you? Where, 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 where are you fighting anything? No, I'm running away because <laughs> I have almost no health. But I just I took out two battleships, several cruisers. I think that was a good day. Where are the battleships and the cruisers? I can't see any. I don't know. Maybe they're hiding from you. Yeah, because because I'm such a scary person. <laughs> I need a place to land. Just, okay, I need to get a place to land. We need to end this for the day, and I need to land somewhere. And obviously, it can't be here. <laughs> actually, we just we could just exit because. Where it automatically saves. Oh, okay. Well, then let's thing. do that. Yep. Alright. Alright, folks. I'd like to thank you all for watching and uh, join us next time. Alright, say bye, Reb. See you, everyone. Adios.